Welcome back YouTube and YouTube viewers. We're going to put on a special show today or tonight. That's right folks. We got something new coming ahead of y'all. My wife is coming out to do her show. Now let me tell you folks. She's the cook. She could put anyone down the chain. She's that good of a cook. I'm telling you, she could take an old rusty boot and cook it somehow, some way. There wouldn't be nothing left. And you swerping down, it was chicken. The best chicken you ever have. That's how good a cook she is. But, she told me she would do the show. She could, I could show everything but her face. So... I said okay because uh, I'm real excited for her to do this I love you baby and I'm proud of you all right and tonight she is going to do homemade uh, what was it, baby homemade macaroni and cheese mmm I mean homemade she knows how to do it folks and what was the other dish? A different kind of baked beans. And her version of baked beans. Now let me tell you, my baked beans are good, but hers is just... It's gone. It's good. It's on, it's on its own league, let's just say. And, uh, well, I, uh... We're about to get things set. She's about to get ready to everything. So I will be the cameraman tonight. And I'm so excited because she's she's on it, folks. She's going to do it. And I'm real excited for her. All right. Well, I see. I, well, I won't see y'all this time for this little bit. But my wife will see y'all here in just a minute. See ya. Welcome back, YouTube, YouTube viewers. All right. I'm so excited. My wife, my lovely, beautiful wife, is actually going to do a show for us tonight. And I'm going to be behind the camera, man. That's right. Now, here's my wife. Do not show my face. I'm not. Hello, baby. Like she said, um... She uh, don't want her face to be shown. She's kind of shy. It's okay. But all right. So you want to say hi? Hi. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to be doing a different version of baked beans than what he did the other night. Um, it's more savory instead of sweet with the... Um, brown sugar that he put in. Um, it's going to be ground beef, bell pepper, onion, um, barbecue sauce, um, and then of course the, the beans. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to... The musical fruit, folks. We're going to go ahead and um, turn the stove on to medium, put in the hamburger meat. Yummy! I, I do already have the water going for the macaroni because it, it's really slow. Matter of fact, just go ahead and turn that up. She turned it up to eight, folks. That's just to get it boiling. When you put the noodles in, you will turn it back down. You're going to salt the water, salt the meat. Pepper. garlic powder and yes I like garlic powder we all love color garlic powder go ahead and start stirring that and you're gonna get your bell peppers and your onions let all that let that all cook together And 
and it'll get very, very, very um, aromatic. It'll, it'll have a really good smell with the onions and the bell peppers and the garlic powder. Mm hmm. Yummy. Just get that all going together. Got the water going, and then we're going to take another pan. And we're going to start melting the cheese because you want to do it on really low so the cheese doesn't scorch. So you're going to cut it into cubes. And it's just a big block of Velveeta cheese. You pour that in there. Mm. And I, I can't tell you cups of this, cups of that, because I don't ever do that. I just eyeball it. So it's just enough milk just to, like, cover the bottom of the pan. There you go. Cover the bottom of the pan, folks. And then you turn it on really, really low. Um, just go ahead and stir that around in there. So we got the water going for the noodles. We got the cheese starting to melt. We got the, for the macaroni and cheese. And then we have the meat and onions and peppers going for the baked beans. Um, for the macaroni and cheese, you'll just want the, the Velveeta cheese. Um, and any kind of noodles that you want, you can use elbow noodles, shell noodles, bow tie noodles, any kind of noodles you want to use. Um, and when they're done, you're going to mix it together and put it in a 9 by 13 pan. And then you're going to take and crush up a package of just the Ritz crackers. You're just going to crush them up. And then um, you'll put it in a little skillet. A little skillet with a little butter and kind of just brown it not where it's like um, all the way brown because you're going to sprinkle it on top of the macaroni and cheese before you put it in the oven and then you're only going to put it in the oven long enough for it to be um, to get the crackers really golden brown um, you can also in this recipe if you want cook some bacon cook some chopped up bacon and either put it on top or mix it through the whole dish it's it's up to you it's, it's your cooking so we're gonna take a break while this all gets uh, cooking and gets all browned up and we'll be back in a few minutes well we're back folks and uh, we're back at cooking <laughs> the hamburger meat is ready to drain and we're gonna bring it over Mm. And I just put a bowl under my strainer so the grease don't get in the sink. Oop, it's tipping over. <coughs> I got a little stuck there. Just well, folks, in my previous episode, I taught you how to get rid of that problem. I'll get rid of it here in a minute. There wasn't much grease in that. Didn't we really have to drain it, move on. You just put it back in the pan, excuse me. She tried to dance with me. You just turn it down. Turn it to two. All stoves are different. You just turn it down a little bit. And what are we making here? Baked beans. Baked beans, folks. Ooh, woo. Now stand still, please. Don't that look good, y'all? Mmm. Yummy. Just dump in the baked beans, juice and all. There you go. And I usually use maybe two of the big can or three of the big cans. Mm. And it'll feed a lot of people. I mean, I don't know how to cook small. 
No, nah, we had a big family, real big family, so we cooked. I haven't gotten like used to army. cooking small. <laughs> yeah. So, folks, if you got a... Uh, if you have a small family, you know, just two or three, um, I would only use, you know, use <coughs> one, <coughs> bless you, two big cans. Mm -hmm. And it, you know, you can heat it up the next day if you have some left or yeah. something like that. Take it for lunch the next day. Mm. Just stir that all up real good. Let it simmer for a few minutes. You can put it in the oven to let it all heat together, or you can just leave it like this. Don't put that in my face. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Good. I gotta try. It ain't hot. Mm. Is that a barbecue sauce or anything more? Mmm. Perfect. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Just let it simmer till it gets warm and then they're done. Quite and simple. And then the cheese for the starting to melt really nice. And if you want dip, you can do the same cheese and milk and just add, um, if you want it really spicy, some jalapenos. If not, just a little bit of the juice just to get the taste. It makes great dip for tortilla chips. Woo! Folks, we just made three meals. Mm, baked beans and home style mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. And see, that water still ain't boiling. Yeah. And I turned it back up to high. This stove takes forever to, to boil water. Mm -hmm. They say you can't boil water if you stare at it. And I haven't been staring at it. Um, but we'll be back in just a few minutes. And folks, don't forget, give me that finger. And subscribe at the very bottom. Thanks. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay. I moved the pot so maybe this eye would heat up faster. It's boiling in there. You can't really see it. But I'm going to go ahead and dump the noodles in. <coughs> and like I said, you can use any noodles you want. I'm using elbow noodles. The large kind, mm -hmm. they'll get pretty big when they cook up. Then we're just going to stir the cheese around a bit some more. See, it's all nice and melty, mm. creamy. Just a minute, baby girl. Your mom's doing a cooking show. Hey, do you know what's awesome? And then we're yeah. going to just stir around the beans. They're on low heat now. Just so they can stay warm till we eat. Low heat. On low heat. Mm -hmm. And the cheese is still on low heat. Just so you know it doesn't scorch because that's really nasty. And uh, make sure you just keep stirring the noodles so they don't stick together and get yucky. So we'll see you back when the noodles are done. So, okay, the noodles are not completely done, but close enough because they still have to go in the oven for just a minute or two. So, we're going to take it over back up because this is hot. That's smoking, folks. Smoking. Mm -hmm. And you're going to bring it back over. Just sit it on the counter because you don't want to put it back in on the stove. Can you help me out there for a minute? Straighten out that towel. Yeah. And then you're gonna turn the cheese off. Ow, that 
arms hot. Don't pull me now. No, I just stuck my arms out the hand. No. And then you're just gonna dump the cheese into the mac. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Cheesy. And then you're going to stir it all together. Mm. Give a good slow stir for us, baby. That's so weird. <laughs> and go ahead and turn the oven on to broil. Oh, That's what the meat we're having for dinner tonight. This ham. <clears throat> and I almost forgot about the crackers, y'all. While she's doing that, I'm going to give y'all a quick slow stir. Mm, creamy. Mm. Okay. And you just want a little bit of butter. Don't put it on too high. So let that go ahead and start melting. And then you're going to take your crackers. This is a hack, people. And just crush them up real good. Nice little hat. Oh. Well, like fill them all over the floor just like I just did. Yes. Let them go for a minute. And we're going to take our 9 by 13 pan. Spray. Spray it real good. And we're going to finish mixing up our mac. And like I said, if you want bacon in it or, you know, some other kind of meat or something in it to make it a dish instead of a side, you can do that too. Mm. And then we're going to take and we're going to pour it into the 9 by 13 Yummy. Folks, you can't get no fresher than this. Make your own cheese and your own mac, or well, you don't make your own mac. So well, if you know how to make your own noodles, you can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Well, we do the buy the noodles. But, folks, you can't get no better than that. Mmm. 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 -mm. Maybe want to turn it up just a little bit more. Get all of them coated in that butter. Buttery. And it's just like Ritz crackers or the, you know, cheaper version of. Or if you just want to use bread crumbs or, you know, um, saltine crackers, any kind of, you know, any Don't kind of topping. I saw that. I didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm. And when you put it in the oven on the broiler, you you are definitely going to have to watch it because the broiler makes it brown up fast. See, folks, she knows what she's doing. But as you can see, I struggle with mine. 
I've been cooking since I could, had to pull a chair up to the stove to cook. <clears throat> and folks, if you like our show, you think it's funny, you enjoy our education too, you get learn new tricks and things, it's not your ordinary cooking show, that's for fact, folks. But uh, <clears throat> be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And uh, that way we can keep on doing this. And we got more Thanksgiving meals coming. Okay, they're all nice and ready now. Gonna come over and you're just gonna sprinkle it on top. And like I said too, you can add the bacon in the macaroni and cheese, or if you just want on top, you can put it on top with the crackers. Oops. And I this could be a Thanksgiving meal as well too. Side dish. And Christmas. So we're like Killing. Yeah, we eat basically the same thing at Thanksgiving as we do at Christmas. Yes. But we will have new stuff. Yeah. New stuff for Christmas, you know, like uh, holidays and stuff like that. All right, and then we're just going to put this under the broiler. We'll I, I never put it really high up under the broiler because that, that can burn it really fast. Let's get a stir. That's good. Mm, makes you want to eat it, don't it? And you can really go ahead and turn those off too, because they'll stay hot until dinner oh, yeah. time. So that's done. Yeah. All right. All right, folks. We'll be back in here in just a minute. All right, we're back, folks. Is and that uh, it, that just literally took like two minutes. Mm. Yeah, it browns up really, really fast. Mm. Now back away, back away. Oh, I don't know how to get out of the way. Mm. You'll set the pot up beans over there too. But that's it. You can see it's nice and brown. The crackers makes a nice little crust. Yeah. And then there's the baked beans. Yeah. And they are a little sweet because of the barbecue sauce, but they they're more savory because they have the hamburger meat and bell pepper and onions. But that's. That's my show. All right. Well, we had a blast, and uh, we learned something new. And well, yeah, the volume's on. <laughs> yes, we remembered the volume. It was, it's red. It's normally blue when you have it on. Yeah. But uh, all right. I'm going to eat. Bye.